Good morning. It's Wednesday, December 4th, and we are on to day four of Vlogmas. It is still pretty early. It's not even seven yet. Um, Abby is on the bus, and Philip, um, so Phil's dad moved um, near to where I live, and we kind of adjusted his schedule a little bit, and he now spends Tuesday night at his dad's and then his dad takes him to school Wednesday morning. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this arrangement, if I'm perfectly honest, um, but Phil seems to be okay with it right now, and so we're rolling with it. Um, that, In return, I have more weekend time now with Philip, so that's kind of what the trade-off was. Anyway, so Abby is on the bus and off to school. Phil is not here, so I am gonna probably start my work day. I've got another busy day and with running around that's going to happen today. I have a dentist appointment uh, later this morning. I am going to try to go to my knit group uh, this afternoon. I should be able to do that. If I can, if there's enough time that I can go to the gym in between, I would like to do that as well. Um, but a lot of that is going to depend on timing and what I am able to get done this morning. Then tonight, Abby has a band concert. <laughs> so full, full week ahead. It's been a lot this week. I'm probably going to just crash completely on Friday. Um, I need to get started on my paper. I need to... Um, make some phone calls. Yeah. So we got some stuff to get cracking on with. Before I get too far, I'm going to make some tea. This is a tea that I get from David's Tea called The Buzz. Um, and I don't drink it super often because it's got a fair amount of caffeine, but I'm kind of dragging this morning. So I'm going to make some tea and um, sit down. I just got back from the post office. I had to send a couple things in the mail. And I'm trying to track down a package that Philip ordered. Well, I ordered for Philip. Um, he is like really into these things called Beyblades, which are essentially like these tops. It's a anime thing that he's all about. It's really corny and cheesy. If you have little boys, maybe you are familiar with these. I don't know. Um, but he had some money. I don't remember how all of this exactly came about. But anyway, we ordered a couple Beyblades and they were coming from, so we ordered them from Amazon and they were coming from China. So it was going to take a while. I didn't realize that that's where they were coming from when I ordered them. Um, so I have kind of been watching and keeping track of like what was going on with this package. And I noticed that it said it had been delivered, but we hadn't gotten anything in the mailbox. These hadn't arrived. I checked around the house um, to see if they had been like stuck inside like one of the screen doors or something like that. And they were not here. So I looked up the tracking number and it was telling me that it was delivered by the postal service and it was put in a mailbox. So I spent some time at the post office with the guy that works there 
trying to find this package because I don't know where it's at. Sounds like it got delivered to the wrong mailbox, so it's somewhere else. I guess it had a geo-tracking device, which that's news to me, that they could like GPS track a package. So they located it and now they're trying to get a hold of the carrier to like leave a note, all to get these stupid little spinning tops. This is like $15 and it's a big hassle, but Philip will be completely heartbroken if we can't locate these. So hoping that they turn up and we can get them. He doesn't know any of this right now and I'm not going to tell him until we know what's going on. But I'm a little bit frustrated because this isn't that big of a place. Like how, I'm a little frustrated because it's a package. It's not like a letter or junk mail or something like that. Like this is a package. It's not a big package, but it's still significant. So I am a wee bit frustrated and I'm going to get some dinner going in the crock pot because we have a band concert tonight. So I'm gonna do that, maybe try and work a little bit more and then I have to go to the dentist. <sighs> yeah, I'll talk to you later. concert day which we're excited about yes and it's also day four of our advent I so say green 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 or purple i'm gonna go with blue we had gryffindor so i'm thinking ravenclaw uh Da, 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 da. Ooh. <gasps> green and purple. Green. A snape. It's a merino. That's pretty. Yeah. I really like that actually. Got Quite some a bit. little speckly bits in there. Mm -hmm. Snape. Snip. Cool. Yes. <laughs>
so it is almost 10 o'clock on Wednesday evening. We um, have only been home from Abby's band concert for a little while, um, and the kids have turned into bed, and I'm pretty close to going to bed as well. I might knit for just a little bit before going to bed, but it has been a very busy and full day. Um, I did want to let you know that I uh, did hear from the post office and we did track down Philip's package and we did pick it up out of the mailbox this afternoon and so he is very happy to have his um, his new new Beyblades. I was very happy about those and really was enjoying them. So we have found the package and then interestingly enough in the mailbox was someone else's mail. So his his was in there and then um, a package for me. I actually got, received um, my Christmas at Hogwarts from a homespun house. I am not going to show it right now because I don't have it here with me and I want to give people a chance to get it themselves before I show it on, on here because I don't want to ruin the surprise for anybody other. But I will say it is very beautiful and I really, really like it and I'm looking forward to knitting something with it. So I'm going to say goodnight and edit this and probably go to bed and I will talk to you all tomorrow. So good night, everyone.